Hi, I'm Freddie DeMarco, and welcome to Black Star Potential. This lesson will be on shred guitar. So this is definitely for advanced players, so we would expect you to have a uh, workable knowledge of some sweeping arpeggios, some alternate picking, uh, some legato techniques, and a little bit of string skipping techniques. So um, also the theory. If you know some theory, uh, that would help as well. So each one of these licks can be used in the seven different modes, and they would go a lot further. So brushing up on any of that, and then you'd be ready for this lesson. So uh, I am playing through the Black Star uh, ID 100. So this is the high powered, and it's got the super stereo wide. Just one microphone on it, though, even though it's got the two speakers, just to capture the sound. I do for shred like to have some delay. So my delays are going; they're dying out about the fourth or fifth repeat. A touch of reverb because uh, I'm in a pretty dry room but a lot of times I won't use reverb because it'll wash out the sound. Um, this first lick though will be focusing on sweeping arpeggios. Uh, they're one octave arpeggios and we're going to use two arpeggios for each lick. So it's actually going to be two different forms. So it's an E minor with a harmonic minor 5 chord meaning the B7 to an A minor arpeggio to an E minor arpeggio. So it's going to go like this. <laughs> So that's following the chord changes of the first arpeggio is a formation of this one of a B major. We're just going to play the top octave of that in a sweeping fashion up and down. And right after that, we're going to this B minor, or B major, actually, arpeggio. We're only going to use the top octave of that one as well. And that sequence is going to go down the other two chord changes. So I'll go to A minor and use that same, those same two forms, but in a minor fashion. So the A minor full would be this. Top part. Then I jump to this form. But also only the top octave of that. And then the E minor is the exact same thing, just in the E minor um, fret. So fourth position here, uh, the fundamental arpeggio would be this. Into this one. Okay, this is going to be a string skipping lick. I'm thinking of this in D mixolydian. So for the theory people, any of the G major modes this will work for. Uh, it goes like this. Notice the changing of directions. That sounds interesting. The string skipping means a wider intervallic jump. That's always interesting sounding. Um, so I have three notes per string on this. I'm plucking the G string and hammering on the rest. I string skip. So the hand has to blossom open there to 10th, 12th, and 14th. And I tap up on the 17th and then pull that off. So it's like this. Then on the way back down, I do pick that initial first lick again, the G-string one. But notice it goes in reverse this time. So I have ascending. Then when I string skip again to the A-string, that would be an ascending pattern. And we just cadence it on a neighboring string, the D string, up and down, and end on the D, which would be the root of the mixolydian. Okay, this lick is going to be based off of lower octave arpeggios. So the lower octave arpeggios are going to be based off, well, it could be any arpeggio. I'm going to take this one here, this A minor. And just focus on the lower octave. So 
and then we're going to play it like a sequence. We're going to keep going back to that, but going up a note in the A minor scale. So notice that when I go through the G string, that picks a downstroke and it does an upstroke, so it's actually hitting that same note. It happens to be an E, the fifth. It hits that on the down, and then on the retrieving, the backstroke, it's the same note. Check it out. You can experiment with that, playing that up and down the harmonized scale. That would be all the arpeggios in the key. No different than you probably do with the higher ones, like, you know. You do that with the lower one. Here's an alternate picking lick. This is an E minor, and it's going to ascend up the scale. But it's going to play a sequence. It's going to play a pattern in three positions going up the E minor scale, starting on the ninth or the second, the F sharp. It's going to go back and up, so it's going to have this motion of going down and then back up. And when I change strings for the first time, it's going to end, be, end up being an upstroke. So give that a little accent. It'll sound really nice to accent and make that note spit out. So it's going to sound like this. <laughs> slowly. Then the next pattern ascends coming uh, starting up the next position of where E minor would be. So right here. Then the third pattern to create even more suspense moving up uh, will start up and I'm going to begin this one on the A note um, but we're actually in ninth position. Here's all three to a slow to medium tempo. Hey, thanks for joining me for this lesson on shred guitar.